Jis visi Danilo Federica, ją muzikant. Ją nazavaisio Aleksandr Federica. Ja je muzikant, ja hraju na skripci i hraju s bratom v hrupi Sitijen po ukrinsku skiti. I'm a first generation American. Ukrainian was my first language. I remember my sisters uh, speaking English to keep secrets from me. We didn't have much growing up, but music was a staple and our heritage was a huge staple as well. My parents escaped communism where the faith was snuffed out. We saw the sacrifices that were made for us to even be able to go to church. Well, both my grandparents on, uh, on both sides, they immigrated from Ukraine and they brought my parents who were very young at that point. They each brought with them like, uh, pretty dramatic stories of immigration, of escaping communism. But it also was a story for us of God's providence, the way that, you know, he carried them through these uh, harrowing experiences so that we could have what we have, these gifts here in America. Being a Ukrainian in America, there was a sense of mission for us. We need to learn the language, we need to learn the songs, we need to maintain the culture. My grandparents paid for piano lessons for my mom and she ended up being accepted to Juilliard and became a concert pianist. She would look at our hands when we were born. She was like, pianist, cellist, violinist. She taught us all our instruments. We'd travel as children, playing at nursing homes, lions clubs, for nights. Uh, event. My dad was a knight. We were playing classical music, and then we found folk music. We were belt and played folk music. Both of us were in seminary together, and we spent our Friday nights going down, playing. It kind of became a ministry. Really no plan to be a band, but the response was so overwhelming to the music. People pushing us, go, you should do this, and that's how we accidentally became a band. You know, we were street performers, and then now we're playing for the president of Ireland and Ukraine. Our song, The Motherland, which is off our new album, Roots and Stones, it's a mix of a song about our culture and gratitude. The lyrics fit perfectly to what's happening now for those that carried us um, when times were dark. It's kind of like all the world is responding to Ukraine. Like, I've never experienced anything like this. My mother, she always taught us that music was an expression of, of God's gift to each one of us in ways that we could touch other people's hearts. It was a way to glorify God. She said, just play 110% for the glory of God, and, uh, and then God can work through you. She passed away from cancer 10 years ago, and so it's very special for us to know that we're making our living by something that our mother directly gave us, and it's a way to, to feel close to her. She said, music is the one thing that should be for everybody. True music is what will change the world. The Holy Spirit can work on a soul that is touched by beauty. Beauty is what opens a heart. We need more harmony in the world, and I feel like I, I see it happen at a live show, day in, day out. A fan came and handed us $1,600 to send to Ukraine because we were, were supporting the Knights of Columbus's efforts. I was first introduced to the Knights of Columbus through my father. There was one point where my brother and I were like, we have to like commit to something. And we chose to become Knights. It's been great working with the Knights in a concrete way to be able to offer assistance you know, through their fund. And then all our fans were emailing us saying, what can we do, what can we do? And immediately we said, let's use this fund and turn all our fans to it. And there's an overwhelming response. This is the Knights in action. They want families to be secure, to be taken care of, and they want to inspire virtue. To me, it was very moving that, you know, they're getting everything to the brother knights in Poland and Ukraine, and those knights are working around the clock. Do всіх там в Україні ми хочемо вам дати знати, що ми з вами є, наші серця з вами є. Ми молимося за вас і дати знати, що Бог з вами є, Матіка Божа з вами є і опікується вами. Слава Ісусу Христу, слава Україні.